안녕하세요 여러분 저는 영어 말해주는 미국 여자 스펜서라고 합니다 Hello everyone I'm Spencer of 영어 말해주는 미국 여자 Today we're going to discuss a commonly used Konglish word Healing This word doesn't perfectly translate into the same situations in English In the first part of this video I will tell you how the word healing is used in English. And later, I will tell you some different words that you can use to better express yourself. 이 동영상 도움이 됐으면 좋겠습니다. 그럼 시작합시다. First of all, healing in English is almost exclusively a word used when talking about medical or spiritual situations. In medical situations, it is used as a verb to heal. It can be used with a person, subject, doing the healing, like a doctor. One example sentence is, the doctor healed the patient. You can see the doctor is doing the action of healing, but it can also be used without a person subject doing the action. For example, it might be used like this. After treatment, I can feel my body is healing. In this case, we can assume the treatment is doing the healing. As I said earlier, this can also be used in a spiritual or psychological situation. But this is much stronger than the Konglish word healing. It is used after extreme spiritual or mental hardship. Like when a loved one passes away, a breakup occurs, or you are unexpectedly fired from your job. If some change begins to happen inside, yourself after the trauma thanks to time passing, enjoying nature, or reading a good book, then we can say healing is happening. It means your emotional, mental, and physical well-being are improving after an extremely difficult time. For example, my trip was so healing. It gave me time to get away from the stress of losing my job. Now I'm ready to look for new work. Or, taking a walk in nature helps me heal from the trauma of losing my friend. In a spiritual situation, it might also be used to talk about something called faith healing, which is the belief that prayer will help heal your physical or mental well-being instead of medicine. One example sentence is, the woman decided to trust in faith healing rather than traditional medicine. So you can see that healing is used in more serious situations in English. Now I will discuss some of the better words and phrases that express the Konglish meaning of the word healing. The first one is relax. Stress from daily life builds up and it's important to take some time to relax so you can feel your best. Many people have different definitions of what's relaxing. It depends on one's personality. Some people might like to take a bike ride to relax. Others might choose to take a nap. And others may take a tropical vacation to relax on the beach. So, instead of, I need some healing time, you can say, I need some time to relax. Or, I need some time for relaxing. Here are some example sentences. My trip to Jeju was so relaxing. I decided to spend the afternoon relaxing at home. The massage really relaxed me. The second one is recharge. Like a battery, you can recharge your energy in different ways. And again, people recharge in different ways. But this word especially gives the meaning that 
after recharging, you will return to your daily life and use this energy to power through. It's like a small escape from the daily grind. So, you can say, I need some time to recharge. Or, I really need to recharge my batteries. Here are some other example sentences. After my vacation, I felt totally recharged. I spent time to recharge over this weekend, so I am ready to go this week. My favorite way to recharge is with a good book. And the third is me time. As you probably guessed, this is time set aside for yourself to relax and improve your well-being. During me time, some people might choose to exercise, others might take a long relaxing bath, and others might watch hours of their favorite TV show. So again, instead of, I need some healing time, you should say, I need some me time. Here are some example sentences. Me time helps me stay grounded. Me time helps me stay in touch with myself. Me time keeps me sane. Please comment down below and tell me how you recharge your batteries, relax, or spend your me time. I look forward to hearing from you. 이 동영상 봐주셔서 감사합니다. 그리고 구독하고 좋아요 꼭 눌러주세요. 이 동영상 도움이 됐으면 또 좋겠습니다. 그럼 다음에 봐요. Thanks for watching and please remember to subscribe and like this video to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching.